Good day, students. Today we are going to engage in a reading strategy called close reading. This reading strategy allows us to deal with rigorous text and build our reading muscles. In close reading, we are going to be reading with a pencil. That means we are going to annotate all over the text. Close reading involves three separate reads. We're going to break our three reads into three phases. For the first phase or first read, we are just going to scratch the surface of the text. We need to get an idea of the gist of the text. What do we think we're reading? What is the overall idea behind this text? In our second read, or our second phase, we are going to dig a little deeper and look at key details in the text. We are going to focus on concepts like author's purpose as well as key vocabulary. In our third read or phase of the text, we are going to dig really deep looking at key evidence in the text. This evidence will be important to help us truly understand what the text is about. We will now take a deeper look at what the phases are, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Remember, the first phase is just scratching the surface of the text. In the first phase, we will focus our first reading on getting the gist of the text, the big idea of the text. This phase one is broken into two steps. The first step in phase one will be looking at the text and orienting ourselves to it. We will look at the text for things like text features, such as pictures, captions, or title. We will make a prediction in our mind of what we think the text is going to be about based on those text features. The second step in phase one is going to be reading the text for gist. We will read the text with fluency, not stopping to get a general idea of the flow of the text. After our first read of the text, we will continue to phase two. In phase two, we will dig a little deeper into the text in our second read. In our second read, we will be focused on the details of our text. There are two steps in phase two, which make up our third and fourth step of close reading. In phase two, we will be looking for two key steps. The third step is going to be examining the author's purpose. Looking at key details, we can decide if the author is trying to persuade us, inform us, or entertain us. We are also going to be using the second read to look for key vocabulary words that are confusing to us that we may not understand and will interfere with our understanding of the text. We will use our resources to figure out what these vocabulary words mean. After our second read of the text, we will stop and ask ourselves a question. Do I understand this text? Do I understand? If the answer is no, we need to go back and read the text again. If the answer is yes, then we can move our close reading to step three, or phase three. In phase three, we are going to dig very deep into the text. Phase three in allows us a third read which has us look at the evidence in the text. Pulling evidence from the text allows us to understand it better. In phase three, the first step, which will continue our steps, will be phase number five. In number five, the teacher will pose a question, and we will have to look in the text, searching for evidence that answers our question. We will also form a response based on what our question is. Remember, our question allows us to find evidence from the text to form our response. Our response can be given orally, out loud, or may be written down for deeper analysis. 
Remember, close reading is broken into three reads. In our first read, we are going to take a look at the orientation and the gist. In the second read, we are going to take a look at author's purpose and vocabulary. In our third read, the teacher will pose a question and we must form a response based on evidence from the text. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of close reading. Remember, close reading is a strategy which allows us to build our reading muscles and be able to take on rigorous text. Remember, close reading is reading with the pencil. We are going to be annotating that text. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, read with the pencil.